all right gang here we are um you know somebody once well not even once like just a second ago basically told me that i might break the internet with these videos and honestly <laughs> i'm not sure if that would be from a good thing or a bad thing um at least i'm entertaining right i'm entertaining myself so that in itself is probably a good enough reason since goodness knows we could all use a little entertainment in our lives so I was not planning on making another trip today, but things happen. And with me, because I am addicted to the internet, I find things. I do like finding things. If anyone has traded with me um, with pens ever, they probably know that pretty good at finding things. And so now I'm using those skills um, to find frames. And so I think the treasure hunt is something that really drives my search and what I really, really love about this whole thing. I definitely think that that is probably one of my all time favorite things. So right now, we're making two stops, which had I had looked at the map, which I need to do a little more of because I don't do a very good job of planning out my routes. That is something that I really need to get better at. Um, they're in completely opposite directions. So this trip is not super well thought out. Um, but again, I wasn't really planning to make a trip today and my husband was not super thrilled that I was making another trip today. Little does he know I'm making another trip tomorrow, but I think that one will be pretty um, short. Um, and I think that my custom orders will be pretty much, um, at least I'll have the frames for all the custom orders that I have open right now. And then I can hopefully be better about spacing things out. But when I'm on the hunt, it's really, really hard to rein me in. Um, so what I need to do is space out the customers, not space out the hunt, because I am not good at doing that. So um, we are heading to the first, um, I'm trying to remember which one this is. Oh yeah. So, um, there should be four of the same frame. Um, like I said before, I like to make trips when it's worth it. Uh, the second trip will be uh, for one ginormous frame. It will be the biggest frame that I have ever gotten. But I am super, super excited because this particular customer is such a doll. She is so fun to work with. The sky is the limit. Um, and she just wants the best display. And she also sees it as an investment, which I totally and hardly, wholeheartedly agree with. Um, you know, I've stopped, well, let's get be real here. Like I haven't stopped buying pits, but, um, I definitely am thinking more about displays um, and what I'm gonna do with the space and what it's gonna look like and what colors and what, um, what kind of frame I want. And so, you know, that really changes how I collect. Um, it always has to go in a collection that's gonna go on a frame. Okay, I have a couple of exceptions. Um, I have a random Baby Yoda pin because, dude, like, how can you not buy at least one Baby Yoda pin, like, Grogu or whatever his name is these days? I mean, they're so cute and Mandalorians everywhere. So, I mean, I feel like there were at least 20 drops of some sort of Mando, Grogu, Baby Yoda. Gosh, if you lump in ah Ahsoka? Ahsoka, is that how you say her name? Um, with all that, oh, forget it. It's like a hundred drops. So I thank heavens 
that I do not collect either any of those for reals, but I did pick up a baby Yoda pin because it was a Penny Arcades pin and I love Penny so much. There are some creators and she is one of them that it's really hard for me not to buy all of their pins. I mean, even if I do not collect any of the characters or anything, they're just so well made that the connoisseur in me cannot help it. Um, so this is going to be a little bit of a longer journey. So um, I don't know how much I'm going to actually be able to videotape. We'll kind of see how this goes. Um, plus, I don't want to bore you guys out of your mind. Um, I made a poorly uh, made decision of um, videotaping myself last night digging into a board. I watched it this morning and um, I apparently said that Oddman and Tweak created Corky's, which is totally not true. Bunce and Bean did it. Um, they are awesome. Both companies are awesome, but one made Corky's and the other did not. And so I apologize about that mistake, but you know, it may not matter because I haven't decided whether or not to post that um, film. It is not one of my finer moments, but it might be entertaining to some of you. So I'll think about it. So um, anyway, uh, back to pin hunting. So I would say that most of the really, really great frames are um, a bit of a drive for me. Um, I would say the minimum usually, I mean, yesterday was uh, really an anomaly. Um, it is not frequent that I am able to pick up frames that are within 15 minutes of me. Generally, um, it's a trek. Um, usually it's more, more like 30 minutes to 45 minutes or even up to an hour there. And that's not, that's not including back. Um, so just double the time. So, I mean, I've been on drives that are a total two and a half hours, pretty much straight. Um, I would not recommend that. And I was not intending to ever do that. And so I realized that I needed to um, really be careful about how I estimate driving times and probably add half an hour to whatever Google Maps says because, you know, there'll be some time to pick up. There'll be some time to put in a new address in Google Maps um, and think about things. And of course, I have to look at the frames. I mean, who can wait? Um, but I would say that... Um, Kind of like I was saying yesterday, the drive is really nice, really good for my mental health. I get quite a bit of sunshine. Um, and again, it's like getting a treasure at the end. And um, I had videotaped something yesterday, which I realized never made it to the actual video, but um, there was a show that was called Storage Wars, which I loved. I don't know if it's still on or not. I don't think it is. Um, but, you know, they tend to play reruns back to back, and so you can just binge watch it, um, like everything else is bingeable these days. But back in the day, when there weren't, um, people would do rerun uh, binges. And, um, and I would watch that, and it was so cool to be able to see them look and not be able to go in a storage locker. And so the whole premise is basically, there's a whole bunch of storage lockers that um, have been abandoned by their owners. And so uh, there are people who go out and go to these auctions. So they're auctioned off and 
and they made a show about it. And so basically the deal is you figure out where these auctions are, you go to them, there are so many storage lockers, you get basically the dimensions, like how big the locker is, uh, they open the locker and you can look in, but you cannot move any objects, you cannot touch anything, um, you can't go inside of the locker, you have to stay outside. So you really have to use your intuition and your uh, experience with uh, storage rooms to figure out if um, this is something that is worth your money and to bid on because sometimes it can be a bunch of trash and sometimes it can be the big bucks. So I remember one of the episodes, which was my favorite, was a totally empty, empty storage room. And honestly, I think some of these were planted, so I don't know, but it was really fun to watch anyway. Um, there was a stack of newspapers from, I think, when John F. Kennedy was shot. And um, it was the, the paper the day after, and there were like a huge stack of them. But all you saw was a stack of newspapers and one and pretty much everyone was like well that's a bunch of wasted space and um we're not going to bid on that because that's not worth a risk which is probably a smart move in general um but one of the more experienced uh bidders said you know i think there's something here and i think there's a reason why somebody put a bunch of paper in the middle of a storage room so I'm going to get it. So he bought it for, I don't even know, $200 or something like that. Um, because no one else wanted to bid on that because that's pretty low. So um, at the end of the auction, he goes in there and he finds out it's this big treasure. And it's worth like, I don't know, tens of thousands of dollars or whatever. So um, that's kind of how I see uh, frame hunting. Um, you basically get a picture and you have to use your know-how, your experience, your intuition to figure out, is this worth my time? Um, does it look well made? Are the materials okay? Are the dimensions okay? Um, how far is it? Uh, does the seller want you to come today? Um, and are they willing to hold it if you can't come today? Um, are you able to even get up with the seller? Um, so there's a lot of things that uh, go into sort of the previous hunt before I actually go drive anywhere. Um, a lot of decision trees and a lot of frames that get canceled out for some reason or another or I set them aside. I also have a saved list of a lot of listings of frames um, to go back on and you know I noticed today and yesterday that I must be pretty decent at it because um, even in this day and age where no one really drives anywhere or um, goes anywhere, uh, I would say at least a good third of the listings that I save get sold pretty quickly. Um, so people want these frames. It's not just me. I'm sure not everybody is making enamel pin boards, I'd be shocked if that were the case, um, but um, they want them. So so I think, um, so, and I think I told you guys yesterday about how I totally thought I was going to get these cute little frames and it ended up being plastic. Um, that I've done maybe like 10 or 12 of these runs now and that was the only time that happened but it was a bummer because it was a long drive to get these um good the good thing is they were cute enough to give to my daughter so i did but i was like man i can't believe i drove that far to get something for a customer that wasn't even right by any means um i found something better which is you know always the case you know, we have to think about that way for pins too. You know, if you don't get the deal today for that grail you've been looking for, hopefully if you just are patient and, and wait, wait it out, 
you'll get a better deal like two days later or even a month later. But patience is not usually a virtue of our community. I mean, certainly not for me. There are some people who are more lurkers and they are very good at waiting. I would say they probably spend less money than I do. Um, so I'm trying to get better at the waiting game. Still not very good at it. As you can see, I'm driving again when I said I wouldn't. But again, when I'm on the hunt, it's really hard to not be on the hunt. Um, it's like basically telling a bloodhound not to sniff the blood out, you know, or the human out or whatever they do. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a fun adventure. Um, there was another time when I, um, I've had some really strange interactions that I was not counting on. I went to a random estate sale um, the other day in, in a poor part of Illinois and I did not expect that. I expected like everything else to just be a situation where um, where someone would leave out the frames on the porch. I would drop off some money and that would be that. Um, that was not the case. It was, um, I guess someone had passed away and they were selling, this woman was selling everything in the house. Um, I went, I went inside, um, with my mask, but I was still very nervous because this was not what I wanted to be doing. I don't want to be going into houses, but I would say that, um, and there were two other people there. Everyone had a mask on, um, but it smelled like, I don't know how to say this any other way, old lady, um, maybe old lady perfume, some flowery, dusty scent uh, mixed with mothballs or something. I don't know. Uh, so, um, yeah, I... She was like, oh, here's a box. There's some frames. I think there's some other ones in the house. Feel free to look around and take whatever you want. Uh, but I took the pile of frames and pretty much left as fast as I could. Um, it was interesting. Um, trying to think, remember which frames were in that pile. Um, there were definite ones that I tossed. Um, like there was a blue plasticky one that looked like it was a really bad retro frame, which is probably in style somewhere, but not in our community. Um, and I'm sure there was something plastic that I tossed, but there were a couple good, uh, pretty smaller frames that I think I probably used for either five by seven or eight by 10 pin boards. Um, which was cool. And um, so basically, uh, you know, you can find treasures anywhere. I mean, this was probably one of the poorest uh, places in Illinois. Um, and the house was not awesome. But I had two stops that day. And the other stop was in another poor area in Illinois. And the frames were gorgeous and huge, like ginormous, custom built, heavy wood and metal frames. And, you know, I told a friend this uh, recently, like you can find treasures anywhere. I mean, I've been to some of the richest districts. I've been to Wildwood in the middle of the gorgeous hills. Um, I'm sure I'll be out there again because it seems to be frame central out there. Um, but very, very beautiful area and rich, very rich. So I found some really nice frames out there of, uh, you know, very wealthy people getting rid of frames. But like I said, you can find them in the poorest districts in a different state, same state area. Um, so it's really, really fascinating to be to places on this hunt that I've never been to before and um, 
get to experience locations that I didn't even know existed because in my previous life I was so busy I was just going to work and back home and then if you have a family you know if you're not working you're pretty much home um, so that's kind of how it went as you can probably tell this drive is all already twice as long as um, the one I took yesterday this video is already 20 minutes long um, hopefully I'm not boring you guys yet um, uh, what I'm seeing outside is uh, basically a lot of dead trees, not a whole lot of buildings, some brick wall, some stone walls, um, sort of going on either side of the highway. Um, this is one of our bigger highways in uh, the St. Louis area. Um, we're going to go off onto another highway in about a mile. Um, and then we'll take a look and see what we find. So this uh, particular frame, I'm, um, it's actually a surprise for a friend. So um, I'm gonna let her watch this video to see it. Um, I think that'll be very exciting. Um, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. I'm hopeful that it actually looks fine because if, it, if it's fugly, as I like to say, then I'm not showing her this, I'm not showing it to her at all. Um, well, she'll probably see it and laugh, but I'll say, well, I was intending to give this to you, but this is not good enough for public consumption. So, okay, so we're gonna get off on an exit here soon. Um, you know, one day I'll have to learn how to edit these videos because I am. there are definite things that I wish I could remove, say the whole Odman and Tweak massacre that I butchered yesterday. Um, so, let's see here, 1B, okay, over here. Okay, so I'm one thing that I am not fond of is the size of frame restriction because while I love frames of all sizes because there's collections of all sizes, I, I love bigger frames because honestly, pins are big and they're just getting bigger, okay? So, I mean, we all know that and we all feel like bigger is better. In the pin community for the most part that's not true for everyone sorry the phone just dropped um it's not true for everyone but if the pins are getting better and bigger then we're gonna do that we're gonna buy the bigger pin but either even if we want smaller pins if they're gorgeous they're they're gonna go in our collections but I'm definitely getting to the point where I need some smaller pins because I definitely feel like these pins are just getting bigger and bigger. So um, we need big boards and big boards do not ship very cheaply. I mean, unless you're willing to um, really invest in shipping, um, and shipping safely, that's the other thing. You don't want your board to break, although it is a huge bonus it, um, that we don't have to worry about glass for the most point. Uh, this is not true all the, all the time because I do have a project for someone that I'm very excited about. I'm getting, I got them a vintage shadow box, which is gorgeous. I might have to videotape some of that construction, um, but we both agreed that keeping the glass on would be ideal. And so I'm gonna do everything in my power to keep that glass on and not have it shatter on the way to her. So, um, but for the most part, for most of the boards, uh, it will not have glass. So glass is extremely heavy. So that takes off some of the weight um, to take it off. Um, also, we don't like broken glass, so, you know, I, I don't have to, like, 
pat it a million times to make sure that the glass doesn't break. And even then with cold weather and this and that, it can still shatter, um, which who wants to open a shattered glass box? I mean, seriously, that would be a huge damper in my day anyway. Um, so, you know, I really don't love that restriction um, because in my perfect world, I would be able to make you guys big boards without it increasing the ship shipping dramatically. Um, but, you know, I pretty much maxed out the size that I can ship myself and keep the shipping costs reasonable. And by reasonable, I mean from $10 to like $30 um, priority shipping, which honestly, that's pretty damn good. I mean, I was actually shocked I could keep it down that much. Um, but I do have to charge a little bit more than I, uh, you know, for uh, handling and slash uh, shipping supplies because um, I learned a lot about this recently. USPS does not have boxes um, big enough for this. Um, okay, so now we are here. So 10, okay, I'm not quite there. One more. Da, 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 da. Ah, here it is. Okay, so we are here. I will, okay, there's like no place to park here. I am gonna get off this place because I do not want someone to run into me. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna turn around. Someone random's driveway and hopefully not run into any cars here. Excuse me, mister, that was not very good. Um, and I probably shouldn't talk about this, but um, I'm going to anyway. So I am not the best driver in the world, and there's a lot of jokes about Asian women drivers, and I'm unfortunately very stereotypical of that. So good thing that my minivan has some control. Okay. So now I'm taking this with me. Hopefully it won't turn off like it has in the past. Um, I'll try this time not to show a house number, but fortunately we are in a random place and you guys don't see a street. So hopefully that will be enough. Okay. All right. I can't believe I've talked for 28 minutes. What does that say about me? Oh, mask getting distracted here guys but there's nobody here no one outside so should be fine but just in case all right let's see what we got here it's a cute little place um I'm gonna turn, you guys can see what I'm seeing. So she left it out on the porch. Um, I don't see a mailbox. Oh, mailbox is out there, but I'm gonna leave the money under. And I can already tell that I was right about these frames. So I'm super excited. Oh man. that I thought I had the right bills and I don't. Um, well, hmm. Let me see here. That's a bummer. Well, I'm just going to leave her a little extra money. That's better than less. Um, this is a little wet. Maybe I will leave it in the mailbox. I'll just make sure. 
sure that's right. Double check that. All right. Well, I guess I'm not doing a second trip right away. And look at these gorgeous frames. Yes. I love that crackle. Whenever I see some of that, it's hard for me to pass those up. Hmm. back home because I don't have the right bills. Super annoyed at myself. A little too excited to get out of the house. Take a look at these though. Can't wait. Oh, they're so pretty. So pretty. Look at this. What's in the box? This gorgeousness. That's what's in the box. Look at that. Look at that detail. Nice size. So, as I was saying, um, that was pretty fun. Okay, I am going to pause this for a second and see if I can figure out something where I can just go straight to the other place. All right, see you guys later. Bye.